Hey guys, I'm Tracy Hines, and I'm going to show you how to transform yourself this Halloween into one of everyone's favorite comic supervillains, the adorably mad Harley Quinn from Batman. For this look, you will need your Harley Quinn cosmetic kit, Hot Topic white cream makeup, Hot Topic white face powder, Black Heart pigment shadow in black, makeup sponges, black and red Black Heart lipsticks, a pencil sharpener, eyeshadow brushes, one flat and dense for painting and one fluffy for blending, pink blush, blonde brow powder, a cup of water, and mascara. Start off with clean, perfectly prepped skin. Make sure your face is gently exfoliated and moisturized before applying any makeup. A quick once over with a washcloth and a dollop of face lotion should do the trick. This helps that white base to go on smooth and even. Apply your white cream makeup base. Use a makeup sponge for even coverage. You can go lighter over the eye area, since we'll be going over that with shadows later. Once you're white as a ghost, set your makeup with Hot Topic's white face powder to keep it in place. Hot Topic has the best white face powder, and now it even comes in this cute sugar skull compact, which I love. Next, I'm coloring in my brows with blonde brow powder. This step is optional, especially if you plan to wear a mask with your costume, but I'm showing you just in case you're not planning to wear one. One more optional step that I'm going to sneak in here is adding some vibrant pink blush to my cheeks for a sweet, doll-like look. This isn't absolutely necessary for Harley's makeup, but I think it's a cute touch. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Grab your Hot Topic Harley Quinn makeup kit, and begin to give your eyes the smoky treatment with the black eyeshadow. You can go as light or as dark as you want. Blend across your entire eyelid and work it up into the crease, getting gradually lighter the higher you go. And be sure to blend down underneath your eyes too. Now take the red shadow and blend into the crease of your lid to give the look some dimension. You can extend the red color underneath too if you like. Anytime you add red eyeshadow to your eyes, it will give a little bit of an off or otherworldly look, which I think is perfect for Harley because she's just a touch crazy. But using color also adds a little glam, and plus, it matches her outfit. Using the black pencil liner in your Harley makeup kit, Carefully line your waterline, both top and bottom. For some extra definition, create some black liquid liner using Hot Topic's Black Heart Pigment Shadow mixed with a little bit of water. You'll know it's ready to paint on once you've got a paste-like texture. I use the back of my hand as my palette and do a few test strokes to make sure I have the perfect consistency. I love this pigment because it can go on as a shadow or a paint. Using a thin eyeliner brush, stroke the liner on as close to your lash line as possible. I like a cat eye too, so I'm winging mine out a bit at the edge. Now add mascara to darken your lashes. I'm going to stop here for a minute and put on my costume wig. You can rock some pigtails for a casual version of Harley, like me, or you can go full jester costume and put on the iconic Harley cowl. Either way, it will definitely complement your makeup and really make the character recognizable. If you like, add some falsies too for extra drama. The Harley Quinn kit has some fun red and black lashes, so rock those for a show-stopping look. I'm going to be wearing a mask with my final look, so I'm opting for some plain black lashes this time. The kit even has lash glue included, so adhere with the glue and let them set before moving on. Moving on to the lips, I'm mixing the best of both worlds and doing a black to red ombre lip for my version of the character. The black liner in your Harley kit is going to do double duty as both an eye and a lip liner. Clean the tip and resharpen if need be, and then carefully line your lips. I like to go outside my natural lip line a bit.
Start coloring in your lips with a pencil because this will help your lipstick to last longer and create a barrier against the dreaded lipstick bleed. Leave a space in the center of your lips though for the red. Blend the black with your finger a bit if you like before moving on to the next step. Take a black lipstick, like Blackheart's Poison Kiss, and go over your lips everywhere you colored in with the pencil. You can use a lip brush for precision or go straight from the tube, like a boss. Now taking a deep red lipstick, like Blackheart's Sure Shot, color in the space left over in the center of your lips. Blend together with the black for a dark but still feminine pout. Now look at you, you're adorable. If you like what you see in the mirror, go on my friend, you're all set. But if you prefer a little darker, creepier Harley, keep watching and I'll show you a few more super easy updates to take this look right to the steps of Arkham Asylum. You can amp up the psycho a smidge by adding more black smudged shadow under your eyes. So wet your makeup applicator and mix together some more of the Blackheart Loose Pigment Shadow in black and apply generously under your eyes. Make sure to tap off the excess pigment beforehand to eliminate fallout and apply the shadow in random messy smudges. If you like how this is looking, then stop at this point. This is also a great option for a completed Harley look. If you still want more drama, this next step will take your look from dancing around the edges of madness to full-blown criminally insane. This final look is inspired by Colombian artist Jay Fenrix's mugshot of Harley Quinn. In the shot, Harley has black tear stains running down her face, so we're going to create those tear stains for this final incarnation of her makeup look. Take your Blackheart pigment out once more and get some water. Now wet your brush or applicator completely and mix a small amount of the black pigment. I'm once again using the back of my hand to get a good mix. You want the brush to be mostly full of water and just a little pigment to mimic makeup tinted tears. Once you have a pretty good ratio of water to pigment on your brush, heavy on the water, bring the brush up under your eyes and first smear around even lower than the last time, and then push the liquid from the brush onto your skin, letting the fake tears run down your cheeks. If you want, you can stop the edge of the tears if there's too much water by using a napkin, or you can just let them keep running. The look is meant to be messy, so don't worry about looking too perfect. You can even take your fingers and stroke the pigment down your face a little too. There's no right or wrong way to do this, so feel free to experiment. This is just the way I've found that's easiest for me. This looks great with or without a mask, so rock it any way you choose. Now to add the final touches before you head out to cause some trouble. Accessorize your skin with the fun temporary tattoos in the Harley Quinn kit. You can also add your mask, hair bows, and any other fun accessories you like. Just make sure they fit in Harley's dedicated color scheme, red, white, and black. Anything two-toned or with her classic diamond pattern is a must. Despite being straight up crazy, Harley is definitely one of the most beloved and adorable comic villains in pop culture today. She's a perfect choice for Halloween because she's cute, sexy, and creepy all rolled into one. Now get that costume on and get out of here. You're ready for some playtime with Batsy. Happy Halloween! <laughs>